yeah. I already started recording. And we're back. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Biff, are you eating? <laughs> I used to love those little joints, yo, <laughs> the little mini ones my mom used to put in my mm-hmm. lunchbox. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of From My Experience Podcast. I'm your host, Rob, and I am here with Biff. Hi, guys. It's a Biff episode. It is a Biff episode. Biff has a special announcement for you all. I'm putting her on the spot right now. <laughs> okay. It's actually perfect. So we've actually been picking up steam with our shows and with our... um viewer interaction so what we decided to do is um we're gonna host a a giveaway and as right now the giveaway is an amazon gift card we do not have the total amount but it will be enough for you to purchase something and with this um the contest we decided to give you guys a few rules just to make sure that you are listening and you are in tune and you're not doing this just because although we do like free giveaways we want to give our listeners the actual chance to win something so the rules are easy. They're pretty simple. Um, if you haven't joined, joined our Facebook group from my experience podcast. Um, there are a couple questions to make sure you're not like spam or anybody. Just answer them and we'll prove you. You need to um, at least be interactive on three posts this month, the month of August, three posts. And then along with that, each week we will put a secret word in each podcast. And if you listen to the show, as you all say you do, You will catch the word. And at the end of the month, we're going to ask you all four words and we'll check and see if you commented. And if you did both, we'll sign you up for a raffle and we'll do electronic raffle. We'll screen record it. And then we'll announce who the winner is on the next show and also in the groups, group me, Instagram and everything else that you follow us on social media. So again, please look out for that keyword every week during our shows and also get more interactive in the Facebook group. Although it has picked up steam, this week was amazing, you guys. Thanks for the interaction. Yeah. Um, we want to keep it going. We want to keep up the, the the potential. Everything's rolling in. It's increasing. So everything's get us. Let's get involved. And also, if you want the link for the group me, we'll drop that again, and get involved in the group me. I'm gonna delete that group me. Don't nobody use it. All right. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> if you want an additional entry, so this is an extra mile. If you want an additional entry to double your chances to win. When we post a new episode each week, screenshot it and hashtag the keyword on your Instagram and tag FME underscore podcast. So let me start over. Follow the podcast on Instagram, FME underscore podcast. The picture will be the logo for the show. When we post a new episode for that week, screenshot it, post it to your Instagram, tag us to it and do hashtag and whatever the keyword for that episode was. And that'll give you. Y'all can't see Biff. Biff got some long ass <laughs> fingers. <laughs> no, it's just my fingernails are uh, long. That'll get you. So doing that along with what Biff said will get you two entries into the drawing. Um, to give, I'll tell y'all right now. The the car is gonna be at least thirty dollars. I might go up to fifty. It depends, but we are gonna do at least thirty. Oh, yeah, fancy. Oh, so you guys better get in, get in tune. Um, and also we're not gonna do the, the raffle if it's only two or three people that enter. That's the whole point of doing a raffle with a bunch of people. So you guys get involved. The less people, the higher the stakes. So that's going to make you want to get involved. So don't make us go there. So one more again, join the From My Experience podcast group on Facebook. Participate in at least three posts. And don't forget to listen out for that keyword each episode, each week. You need to know the the keywords. It's going to be Fort Well Hell. No, we ain't got time to do four. We shit. What day is it? How many weeks we got, motherfucker? All right, so this is going to post on the 8th, and we got one, two, three. Yeah, there's going to be four. I don't fuck my yeah, I think it's five. I only did that it's once. August, um, yeah, because we missed the first week, which was last week. But again, okay. follow the Instagram, screenshot the new episode when it gets posted, and do hashtag whatever the keyword is. Tag us in that Instagram post. All right. So, speaking of which, and I'm going to piggyback on what Biff said. Thank you all so much for the group interaction. Um, sh- <laughs> oh, man. Y'all, it's just overwhelming to see y'all, you know, overact in the, um, overact, interact in the Facebook group. Man. And overreact. Yeah, some of y'all do overreact. Um, shout out to the spammers who try to sneak their own personal promotional shit in there, but don't, don't comment. I'll tell you this. If you got some promotional shit you want to do. 
come on the show, be a guest, so I can at least get an episode in the bank, and I'll let you get your shit off in the group. But other than that, no, if you ain't, no, con- yeah, I will. You if you, if yeah, I will. Um, but other than I, that, I see it you- first. I've been deleting them things. I'm bad boys. Now I be deleting them too. Somebody tried I to believe, post a mixtape. Yeah, especially if you ain't been supporting and doing nothing. I yeah. delete them bad boys. If you people. support the group, you do a show with us, so we'll have an episode and share your stuff with people. I don't mind sharing stuff in the group. I don't mind it. Um, yeah. But don't just like, oh, this is a group. Ask I'm for in. permission. Don't just join the group and then try to drop your mixtape. Yeah, because all all, our, all posts by outside people got to be approved. So it, it ain't nah. Well, even inside people too. Some of them. So yeah. Alex. <clears throat> and I, All right. Yeah. And I scroll the page and I delete. I even delete admin shit, so don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, same. Same, because somebody had somebody <laughs> fucking on the damn face on the wall that last week. I was like, really? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Talking about girlfriend calls boyfriend while effing the other dude. And there was video of it. I had to delete that. We don't... We don't... Oh, I know. I've seen that one, yeah. Yeah, I was like, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to talk about today is... <laughs> basically money and the impact it can have on relationships any and all relationships and we're also going to talk about depreciation in relationships so i'm gonna do let's do the latter first let's do depreciation in really relationships so i'm not gonna say her name because i ask her every month to be on a podcast but she keep acting um light skin you know what i'm talking about yeah Mm mm-hmm oh thick self um so she posted on her facebook wall so there's a picture of a couple basically saying oh dates don't have to be expensive it's about enjoying each other's company and they have a picnic basket and they got some wings some fries and some lace potato chips right and so it kind of it triggered me and i said (laughs) i don't know why this triggered did you see this Shut up. Yeah, bro. I know what you're talking about. It what triggered talking about. me. Okay. And I said I have I've have several thousand comments about this because this gets under my skin. I need to find a woman with this mindset because I swear I've dealt with a lot of ungrateful women. And she said that's a damn shame. And I said it happens over time. So here's here's what I said. And this is what I mean by depreciation. They get complacent and forget that those things are special and extra and they become expectations without the gratitude and appreciation and it really gets under my skin let the church say amen yes so i might have told y'all this story before but i was in a relationship before and her car used to always be dirty like if she if you if you (laughs) i put it like this monday like on a monday i put it like this by the end of the week i could tell you and on friday if i looked in her car i could tell you everything she ate that week because the box or the bag from wherever she ate from was still in the car yeah that kind of dirty so i used to wash her car i used to wash her car clean her car out and i used to get kisses and appreciation but after a while and then i had the conversation i will can you at least throw this stuff out and like make my job easier but after a while it became oh you ain't wash my car oh you ain't and i'm like no because I, I i'm not gonna wash your car and clean up your car and then it looks like shit two days later no yeah, I've been been tired. Yeah. Or or any anything like that. Like if your man buys you, you know, your favorite candy bar on the second Wednesday of every month or just like those random things that people do that are sweet, like let they need Yeah, you get comfortable. It's about more or less you become complacent and there you, you become go. comfortable with it. Yes. Like, okay, now I expect to have my feet rubbed like Yes. Now it it went from, you know, that was a small, it still is a small joy to me and I still appreciate it. But now it's like, I ex, I expect that was like the guys that I talked to, like, you have to like rub feet now. And they're just kind of, some guys are like, uh, and then some are like, you know, it's no big deal. But you just come to expect that. Or like, even with guys like my, uh, my ex, or I guess one of the guys I used to talk to, I'm like real big, like. You know me and Beth, you, we, like, look at pimples and cysts and stuff. And, mm-hmm. like, I constantly, like, pick and groom. I'm a groomer. I'm just a groomer by nature. I groom my child. I groom whoever I'm with. And then, like, you know, one day we start getting tired of people. You just start doing, you stop doing things. Like, you know, yeah. I'm not going to wash your hair no more. And it's like, oh, why you don't wash my hair no more? Or you don't want to do my hair no more? Or, yep. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to look at my back? No, I don't. I want to do none of that. I don't want to touch it. You. you get on my nerves, get on my face. You don't appreciate it. 
the, exactly when you, you know? stop appreciating it you know that's when you lose it because oh yeah you start coming at me sideways because i don't do it anymore especially if you don't reciprocate now especially if someone knows that if they're outdoing you not that it's a competition but if the person is outdoing you and then you show a lack of appreciation when you're not doing anything or doing as much that's when you catch that l to the chest you start being yeah and then the other person starts building resentment and they're angry yeah, because that, that really gets under my skin. Because I'm a really nice dude. And when you start taking mm-hmm. that for granted, and I see you take it for granted, and you're no longer appreciative, then I'm no longer going to do those things. That's definitely me and the guy that I did used to date. Like, I bought him so much shit just because. This is the type of person that I am in a relationship. Just because. Whole closet, shoes, clothes, just. I got whatever. Right just here. thinking of you, yeah. And he made more money than me, and I'm still like, when I'm my way, and be like, yo, I'm still gonna get you. You know, what I'm saying this, this, and this, and just nothing. I only think I only got something for Christmas and my birthday. My birthday was really like trash. I still got a piece of jewelry. She not getting. What's that? Paparazzi. You know, you know those things that y'all like. It can be used as like a belt and all this other stuff with the matching earrings. Yes, yeah, paparazzi. Shout out to Nika. Nika sells paparazzi. <laughs> um, this piece Shout out late. to Janae for selling paparazzi. That's my girl, my coworker. Hey. She hold me down. Ow. Ow. Um, <laughs> some good stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so, though I don't want to go off on the tangent and talk about that too much, y'all, just remember to appreciate those small things. And... Love is equal. Women, get out, get that that princess mentality out of your head. It is a lot of women. I have been noticing that guy brought up the women. A lot of women automatically expect it is a man's job to take care of you. It is not his job to take care of you. So stop expecting him to take care of you. Go get a job and do for yourself first. If you do good for yourself that way, if you're with a man, you can still be able to provide for yourself and let him provide for you. And God forbid something happens and you're not with him, you can still provide for yourself and with you. Mm-hmm. Like. Stop having these expectations where out the gate when somebody first meets you and your first number, you get your phone number, they're supposed to give you a, a diamond ring or they're supposed to take you to Benny Hunters or, you know, you're supposed to be going on these five-star vacations. You wouldn't do that with a complete stranger. You get stuff like that over time. Stop thinking these men owe you some shit. Nobody owes you anything. Wow. And men, y'all stop being, stop being like some... Stop being dog ass niggas. All all women ain't out to get you. All women ain't you know ain't trying to come in your pockets. Yes, it is nice to spend on they women, but make sure you find a woman that reciprocates it back to you. There are women out there, but every woman isn't a gold digger. So you sitting here trying to only spend twenty dollars because you think I want your money it ain't gonna make a difference. It goes both ways. Y'all tighten up. Please appreciate who you have because you leave that eighty looking for that twenty and then crying because you want to be back with that eighty. Did you just 80 20 the audience? <laughs> yes, Ooh, I don't did. Make this, don't make that face. <laughs> yes, I did. I had to take it there. She she's exactly right. Guys, you gotta acknowledge your BS. Um, ladies, acknowledge your BS. And just remember how you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Um yes. and, and stop sticking around when you don't feel appreciated or you're not being appreciated. Stop sticking around. Alright, we off our soapbox. Now we're gonna talk about sh money. So, I've gotten really good at posting stuff in a group to get people to engage. I don't know what what it is or what. <laughs> you post the controversial topics. You know what it is. Not all the time. Get them going. Not all the time. Sex or mess. So I po- where'd it go? Oh, what? all right. I'm gonna try to <laughs> I'm gonna try to run through it really quick. So. Shade Room on Instagram posted a conversation, I don't know if it's real or not, between a dude and a chick, right? So, it's in the group. I don't think I'm, I don't want to read all this shit. It's a lot. Basically, in a nutshell, this young lady has been sleeping with this man. She has two young children by two other men, I'm assuming. Yes, For a field trip, these young children needed $20 going to field trip. I'm, I'm assuming $10 per child. So, of course, as a woman, she reached out to the man that she has been dating and asked him specifically for $20 for the kid. His retort every time she asked for $20 was, go ask the kid's fathers. Why are you not asking the kid's fathers? Ask the kid's fathers. That, that's not my job. I'm here to date you, not your kid. You know, ask the kid's father. That was basically his, his own retort. So basically the question is, was he wrong 
for not giving her $20. First of all, he's stupid, she's stupid, everybody in this scenario is stupid. And the only people that's hurting is the two damn kids because everybody's too fucking cheap to give two children $20. That's the thing that pissed me off the yeah. most. Two kids is missing out. They barely get field trips as is. So if it is Hell field yeah. trips, <laughs> nine times out of ten, it's probably educational or something good for them. And y'all too busy bickering and immature as adults to find $20 for these kids. That's the first thing that pissed me off. The second thing that pissed me off is you, as a grown woman, are laying down with this man, dating this man, and he wanted to give you $20, but he was willing to come to your house and lay down and give you some D. No. I have an issue with that. So don't sit here and say, you want all these relationship things. I want to be laid up with you. Let me wine and dine you. Let's go on dates and let's do that. But then when it comes down to my children, it's, oh, ask their daddy. Did you not know when you date a single parent, you, you have their children. They have children. They are the least selfish people in the world. And if you be with one, you can't be selfish either. And he's selfish. And that's just not going to work. And then also my beef with him is the fact that he kept saying, ask the kid's father when she repeatedly said, I already did. They said no. So it was already dead. So then my issue with her is why do you first of all, why are you laying down with a man who won't even give you twenty dollars? Well, his... you let him wind and dine, you let him do all this stuff, but then he won't even give you twenty dollars cash. Now my thing is, what if she had not said it was for the kids? What if she said I need twenty dollars for gas? Would it made a difference then? Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying. So why, why, why would you want to be with somebody that's going to pick and choose when they give, want to give you money based on your situations? If the person is for you, they're going to give you money regardless whether they fuck you. You know, if they fuck with you, they fuck with you. Period. And then you sit here going back and forth and you begging, girl, you should have ended that conversation, exit that app or mention somebody else a long time ago. 15 minutes after he said, no, I'm going to ask their daddy, bet. I see what frequency wave we on. It might hurt my feelings to cut you off. I understand we dating. It's not that deep. Goodbye. Have a good life. That's it. So I think everybody just stupid. I'm mad the kids suffer. I really hope somebody found twenty dollars for. It. I really hope this is a made up scenario. But the way people just acted and the way some of these comments I seen in that group, I was very shocked. <laughs> I wasn't shocked um, because we're dealing with people, man. The human element is always unpredictable. Um, but yeah, like Biff said, you know, she asked for twenty. He said go to the baby daddies. And then they just basically got into it about it. Now, obviously, there's limited context. We don't know how long they've been dating, if this is even real. We don't have a context of the relationship. But, Biff, to one of your points, you don't really know what someone's willing to do for you or going to do for you until you're in that situation. You know, they've been dating for a couple months, and they smashing, and he taking her out. This may be her first time figuring out, oh, damn, he's not really... He's not really going to do this kind of thing for me. So it's not really her fault because you don't know that until it happens. But I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. Me personally, you can't tell somebody else what to do with their money. And I'm not I kinda... saying he's obligated, but I'm saying if you, <laughs> if you talk to a parent, yeah. you are now taking on some of that parent responsibility. What? Or you're now going to, or now you're, you're. You can't date a single parent and that single parent not tell you no parent issues. Okay, so, but what about your involvement and your responsibility level? That's based on, that's case by case. See, with okay. me, I have to date somebody and actually be in a real relationship before you even, you know what I'm saying, before you even interact with my child that deep of a level. There's only been maybe one or two people I've let meet my child kind of in the beginning. But they're still around. Even if we don't talk like that, they're still an influence. But that's, I'm just very, very particular about the men that I bring around my children. So if it gets to the point that you are around my child, it, it's pretty pretty deep. Pretty okay. much pretty involved. And if you can't give me $20, if we're pretty involved, then that's the issue. You, you can go. So to play devil's advocate, his point was basically, you know, like Biff said, you got, it's three of y'all. You got two baby daddies and you. So between three grown ass adults, y'all can't find twenty dollars. Now, mind you, the kicker is well, I said that kid, earlier. Beth, yeah, they all stupid because can't nobody find twenty dollars. That's trash. Now the kicker is, she said the reason she's asking them, she asked the parent, the the dads or whatever, but the kids told her at the last minute. So this is like a probably the night of or the night before, or the day before shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a parent, you honestly understand some kids keep shit in their folder until the morning of. And then who's to say that she even got a decent relationship with their daddy? You know what I'm saying? It could be one of the ones, I got to ask you for $20 two weeks and then ask you for every two days before I get my $20 from you type shit. 
we don't know what type of baby daddy she is, but obviously from the conversation, if she going to him first before she goes to the baby daddy, then she must feel some type of way or she must know what's up. And so his his argument was, is their response, basically their responsibility. Um, and he said their dads don't have $20. Tell them to pay for their kids to go on a trip. And if it's too late, then stop stressing yourself out. They just won't go on a trip, and that's okay. There'll be plenty of trips in the future. That's not necessarily true, bro. That's um, not true either. And now he said, if you had to ask me for twenty dollars, I doubt you were going to pay me pay me that back. You said, and I quote, "Wow, you can't give me twenty bucks. That means you ain't borrowing it. You want me to give you the money and not expect it back. And that's not me. I do not give people money. Sorry." And no problem, I'll, I'll leave you alone because you're mad at the wrong nigga. Direct that energy to the kids' fathers. Contact the kids' fathers and get the money from them. He has a, I don't like the way he went about it, but he has a good point. Like, if, you, if you're the type of person where that, that bothers you that, you know, the, the fathers were irresponsible and couldn't do it and you felt like... Then don't date a single mom who got baby daddy problems. Can I finish my sentence? Biff is no. actually hot, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> that shit bothers me. Like, why the fuck do you sit here and complain about all these baby mama, baby daddy issues? I'll say this: there's a the, there's a way to go about baby it. Baby mama so. and the baby daddy issues. Like he kind of he kind of tore into her a bit, and it's kind of like if that's not, you know, what you do, I don't like then the you way can he say, communicated it. Yeah, the way he communicated, and that's another thing. I don't think she should have texted. If it's gonna be something like that, and it's probably your first time, you probably should have called him. Cause you can take a lot of shit out of context when someone texts you. Yeah, I said that with a girlfriend too. Stuff like that. When you ask you for something important, you don't send it over no text. You call. That way, if you can actually tell if a person really wants to, or if they not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no way to misconstrue it. Cause you can tell when somebody they be like, "Ooh, twenty dollars," or they can be like, "Ooh, yeah, you know, it ain't no problem. I got twenty dollars." Or if he would have been like, "Ooh, um," you know what I'm saying? The conversation didn't even go no further than that. Cause I didn't, yeah. I didn't know how you felt. And then all that other stuff after that could have been would've, prevented. It would have been done. He could have just been like, look, you know, um, sorry, maybe your kids just don't, you know, however he felt. And yeah. said, you know, I don't I don't want to take up that responsibility. I mean, that the kid, the dad should be taking care of that. That's not something that I do. That would have came across a lot better over the phone. But ba he's basically saying, look, I'm dating you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But your kids aren't my responsibility. And when it comes to their financial needs, their father should be taking care of that. And that's a damn true statement. That but, is true, but that's but there's not times always that, the reality. Yeah, that's not. That's definitely not the reality. Um, but I don't like the way he went about it. But he's not wrong. He's not. No, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. But he sometimes dickhead, it's not though. what you say, but how you say it. It's your tone. Yeah. And he's trying to be funny, talking about, oh, I don't give out money, bitch. You, if you paying for dinner, bitch, you paying for pussy. <laughs> I don't care what you say, ho. Wait, how you know and they went to dinner, Biff? If they've been dating, he fuck around, he getting something. Dang. I wish we had more context. But... You didn't pay, but not, you know what I'm saying, in, in a roundabout way. It don't matter. Either way, you pay. Money is money, no matter how it's spent. It all gets spent the same. And everybody was like, dang, all sis wanted with $20. And to be honest with you, you know what I mean? That's what I'm For, and it depends, on, and it depends on how people feel about kids, too. Like, I probably wouldn't be the first one to want to ante up for a bunch of shit about for someone else's kids. I'm not going to lie. But I might look out for the cookout one or two times and be like, look, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to start taking stuff like this on. Maybe we need to talk about this or reconsider some shit. Because I'm not asking a, you to go buy dub. the blue clothes or nothing like that. Yeah. But I'm he's probably asking. scared because, okay, you asked for a dub, you get it. You, you think <laughs> yeah, she would get wait, comfortable. He, he wanted that 20 back, too. You said, <laughs> yeah. Somebody, when you said, first you said borrow, then you said have. What are you going to do with my $20? <laughs> Bitch, like, he wanted his dub back. And I'm like, are you that damn bad? Were you worried about that dub? Yeah, he wanted that dub back. But me, I'm like this. I don't loan money that I that I don't loan money I can't afford because I don't ever expect money back when I loan it to somebody. So whatever someone asks me for, whatever I give you, I really don't expect it back. Would I like it back? Yes. But typically I don't I don't expect it back. Like that's why I don't give what I can't afford. Like if you ask me for a hundred and I give you thirty, that means I am in enough con a good afford. enough condition to yeah. afford to go without thirty dollars moving forward. Um and I asked It this, was just too much. It was just it really was. over twenty dollars. It was just really too much over twenty dollars. Yeah, and it, it's like you said, it's case by case. Like you know, you had two kids involved wanting to go on a field trip with their little snot noses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a good one too. A ten dollar field trip. That's probably a good ass field trip. Right. But again, he was like, "Well, maybe they don't need to go." 
you know. But I asked a question in the group too. I said, "Has money ever caused a conflict?" <laughs> oh Lord, has ever caused a conflict? Your has money ever caused a conflict? I, I, I worded it wrong. Basically, in their <laughs> friendship or relationship with someone. I need to edit this shit. Has it caused a conflict <laughs> in any type of relationship or friendship? Um, what is this? Seven. What's three plus seven? Ten people said yes. Four people said no. Two people said nah. I don't give money out. So, <laughs> have I ever had money cause a conflict? I said yes. I have. Um, I have middle school, high school. I don't know about high school. But I, I, I can't think of anything in particular. But it pisses me off when you say, I'm going to pay you back, I'm going to pay you back, and you don't. That pisses me off. And nothing pisses you off more than when someone owes you money and they don't pay you, but they balling. Or you see them at the club. <laughs> or they got their hair did or nails did. Right. Or got that nothing fresh cut. Nothing pisses me off more than, um, damn, I was just thinking about it. When, they, when people lie about why they need the money. Yo, look, that I, is my biggest one. It's like, oh, I need that to pay your bill, and you need to go pay for something else. Like, I'm numb to that shit now. I don't even want to know anymore. I didn't like, yo, you gonna be it. able to pay it back? Yes or no? No. All right, and then, because again, I don't loan what I can't afford. I don't give a fuck if it's emergency or not. Because my thing is this: I can't. I'm not an ATM. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just because I'm your friend doesn't mean I'm obligated to give you money. Yep. It just means I give you money because I love you and I'm looking out for you. Pretty much. No, I've I've, I've seen it, but I've seen like I've seen like wars over money happen yeah. between like groups of friends, and I've seen like friends just fall all the way apart. It's just it is terrible. Money can do that, but hell, even money can do that in your real relationship. Even in my my last relationship, it had got to the point where. When I finally got my job working while I work, he would do like tip for tat shit. Like, oh, I bought breakfast Saturday. Why you supposed to? Why you didn't buy breakfast today? And it'd be like Sunday. And I'm like, bro, it's not that motherfucking deep. Like, oh well, you can get that yourself. Now you got it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like little stuff to constantly remind you. Like, I just don't like stuff like that. I don't like when you know people do like that. That that fake hating, but it's a joke type stuff. Mm, yep. Oh you, oh you, big money right now. Oh yeah, you big money. I don't like those type of people around me. I don't like that either. Oh, you make good money. No, don't I don't count my money. Why you count my money? Right, start get out my pockets. And every time they say that, and I say Uncle Sam take thirty three and a third percent of my check. Girl, and why do right. people think oh, just oh, because oh. you make money or you're doing better that you don't have expenses? It's natural <laughs> that you know what I'm saying a person who goes from making thirty thousand a year. To making sixty, they gonna upgrade their life. Meaning, Hello. Yeah, meaning some of their bills and things like that. Excuse me. Ooh, my chest. <laughs> my chest. Their bills and stuff <laughs> like that <laughs> are gonna change. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna go up. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't make this extra money to give it away to your ass. I made it so I could do more of the things that I wanted to do and be parts of things that I couldn't be a part of before. To make me happy, right. I make money to make me happy, not to help you. That's not why I started making more money. If that's the case, I would have stayed poor. Right. No, people, I just, mm -mm. or then people that, like you said, they get comfortable and they start doing that. Well, can I hold this? Or can I borrow this? Or what about this? Or I'll pay you back. Or can, what about this? Or this, that, and... You start hearing it like it's not. It turned from once a month to once a week, and then it turned to every other day. Or yep. Oh, or the ones that that uh, they tell you every single money roll every time you listen to them. I hate yo. Listen, can't stand it, especially when you're not trying to do anything about it. What are you doing? About I'm not it? right. Cause I, I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. But then also at the same time, that doesn't mean I'm able to help you. Don't ask me at the beginning of the month about nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Because at the beginning of the month, it's daycare, tuition, and rent. I am broke. Literally broke. Ooh. Don't ask me for nothing. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm allergic to Between all, those I'm two, yeah, Grace, words. Grayson's new private school, like before his private school, you just pay weekly. So I could break off, you know, I could do this, I could do that. No, this new private school, you pay everything at the beginning of the month. 
Ooh. And that shit is pretty fucking hefty. I paid rent for him to go to school. So. <laughs> yeah. So be considerate, man. Be considerate with your finances. Be considerate with your friends' finances. You know what I'm saying? And don't and be upfront and honest with them. Like somebody, like I would say about a month ago, I was talking to somebody and out of nowhere, they were like, look, if you need something, I got you. So I was like, word. It, it, I don't normally, like I have to be fucking like damn near about to be homeless before I ask anybody for anything. But I needed it and I just needed it to float me. You know what I'm saying? For like a mm. week or something. So mm-hmm. they loaned it to me and I gave it right back. They were like, no, no rush, man. No, no. I was like, nope. As soon as I got it, bong. Cash my check, got it right back to them. You know what I'm saying? No harm, no foul, yeah. nothing. You know? Um, and I think that's how it should be. Like, it's, it's not a bonus. Like, some of y'all treat it like a bonus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. <laughs> and then, you know, then it cha- it's going to change the friendship. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you feel. It's going to change the friendship. It really does. It does. Because then it's like, can I trust you? Can I trust you? trust you? What if I yeah. need something? And that's the... Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm sorry, y'all. Friendship... <laughs> y'all... <laughs> y'all are like... You... <laughs> listen, y'all got stock value as friends. Let me tell you. <laughs> we know... <laughs> We know who we want to call to go on the trips with. We know who we want to go out to eat with. And we know Mm -hmm. who we just going to go chill at their crib with and do house parties. So, and who we going to introduce to our other circle of friends and hookups and all that stuff. If your stock is too low, eh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You you just SOL. So, you, (laughs) and no one, I mean, (laughs) honestly, unless you come across that real, real, real blunt person, no one's probably ever going to tell you. But if you start yeah. looking around yourself and analyzing your friendships and you're not in a happy place after you sit down and think about it, you're probably that friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your calls get screened a lot, you're probably that friend. You're definitely if you get the yo, what up, man? Word. All right, yo, let me call you right back. If you get that <laughs> right. <laughs> you're probably that friend friend yeah you're probably and please don't be friend. that friend that constantly calls your friend with nothing good to say call them good news sometimes everybody doesn't want to hear how bad yeah i don't talk to negative people see i, I avoid the negative people because i try to they hear because <laughs> i know a lot of people like oh just tell them straight up tell them straight up no because then most of the times when you tell people straight up who people act like they can handle the truth most people can't and they want to cause an argument and want an explanation. Yeah, and to or somebody it. feeling hurt or... Yeah, and it's like, I really don't care that much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard my um, very drastic comment a-, a while ago when I was like, people are replaceable, man. I'm sorry. They are. It may take a long-ass time, but it's like, okay, I got my own headaches. I don't need you to be an extra one. So, I need to put that in check. So, be good friends. Give people their damn money back. Um, if you're dating someone Stop with... Stop calling with bad news and money problems because guess what? Your rich friends or your, your quote-unquote rich friends have money problems too. More money, more problems, and you one of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nobody needs extra problems. Nobody. Don't call every time. Sometimes it's okay to call with good news or just to talk about what the fuck is going on. It's exactly. okay. Don't, don't call with a problem every time. Biff. Yes. It's time. Yes, it is. So, for the first key word for our contest, the word is Biff. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag BFF. I know a lot of people actually didn't know that's when we call each other. Me and Robert are Biffs. So, that's where the nickname Biff came from. Mine just stuck as a name moniker, which I actually kind of like. Um, when I start streaming more, it'll be Biff, actually. Really? Yeah, I like Biff. Biff just sticks. Biff is going to start streaming, y'all. Yeah, I'm actually about to start streaming. I'm about to get in the talks of hooking up with a really good friend of mine from college. They actually already have a gamer anime type YouTube page. So oh. hopefully I can be like a contributor slash eventually get to like a partnership type thing on the page. You cheating or on Or maybe Alex? I might just do my own thing altogether, but I'm not sure yet. You cheating on Alex? Alex got dumped. <laughs> I'm done with Alex. That man made me so mad. 
<laughs> this is why I don't date Haitian men. That's exactly why I don't like Haitian men. This is why this Haitian woman will not date a Haitian man. Mm-mm. Oh, God. Alex, you hear that? <laughs> you see he ain't on the show tonight? Oh, I'm going to tell him. Oh, he got dumped. I'm going to laugh at that. You know, what? What? And and and, and, and they talked them about them me and... on the show. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a text message. Wow. No, you're not, because he don't listen to the show. Um <laughs> <laughs> Did we you talk... tell him I dumped him? Did we talk about the uh what's she the a the woman of Asian descent that tricked her boyfriends or didn't trick him? She got her boyfriends to buy her iPhones. She had what, twenty boyfriends? Yeah, Did about you... twenty um iPhone tens. 20? And returned all them bitches and put a down payment for a house. She's a smart woman. That's the those guys are dumb. Or and I'm gonna let you know, I'm for ten. If you buy it out, right? It's about thousand dollars, give or take. Yeah, they're thousand. Sister over there in Asia, it's probably a little bit cheaper. So about between eight hundred to a thousand dollars. She convinced and her you twenty boyfriends. 20 times? They're iPhone sevens. He said. Oh. I wonder how old this is. This Even is then, if 20- it came... Oh, yeah, November is from 2016. Yeah, Damn, so why that's New York Post post this old-ass thing on Facebook like that? I don't know. So... You know, the, the algorithm's off. But even still, when the iPhone 7 was hot, then they were still about $1,000 when they dropped. So here's what I didn't like about this. People was cheering her on and congratulating her. You smart. You know how I'm feeling. Um, let me see. She used her resources. Hey, Pam. Um, Nika talking about <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I don't agree with that. Y'all don't need to encourage that. Twenty boyfriends. That's disgusting. They just call them boyfriends. They probably could have been her little hoes. I wonder if they're like online dating or something like that. Because it's like it probably that. And why you playing? It's a lot of men that buy pussy over the internet. Yeah, but I mean, they couldn't. Uh, so she could. So all she could have said was order me the iPhone seven and send it to whatever this PO box or have it works over there. And they could have ordered on Apple, have it sent to her little mailbox or whatever it is, and she could take that, take it to the biggest city, or sell it on eBay and resell it for whatever the price is and get the money off of it. That's, she that's doesn't necessarily true. mean she even had interaction with their ass. Anything's possible over the internet. You can have twenty internet boyfriends. Yeah, because they use the term boyfriend, so it's kind of like, huh? Very loosely, yeah. They try to make it seem like she was dating them all, but I really feel like it is some internet shit like that. Just like the girl who sold her virginity for, like, millions of dollars on the internet. I remember that, yo. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. I think it was an Asian guy that bought her her virginity. Uh Uh-huh, for millions and millions of dollars. She said her she did it for her parents. They're getting old and she might be under a lot of pressure. Um hoping to buy them a house, she wrote. But that's this, true in Asian and Asian culture, you do take care of your parents. You don't send your parents to nursing home, they stay with you. You take care of them. And if she worry about take care of them, which is a valid need, I ain't mad at sister girl. Get them a house. Go ahead, get them a house they though. want. She played them though. They all on the internet, you don't know. Well, we don't know that. The story doesn't tell you. So, well, we're does that make that. her a bad person? No. So, Biff, you got 20 dudes. Clearly, because I say clearly they don't know about each other. Because no real man is going to be in a relationship <laughs> with a woman knowing that she got 19 other 19 dudes. 19 other boyfriends. <laughs> There's no... That's, first of all, hy- <laughs> hygienically, that is disgusting. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. But she not wrong for... Because I feel like she played them, and that's dirty. I mean, a little bit, yeah. but if she A did, little if bit? Yeah. Yeah, Biff. I can kind of see. I can I can see where you say she played them, but at the same time, when she like, look, you my boyfriend. Can you just send me this? And they just like, okay. If they're not the ones asking questions, like, you know, do you have somebody else, or are you seeing somebody else, or you know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to get to the nitty gritty in the bottom of it. Biff, that's on them. Be very too. careful what you just said. So what you just said was basically omission. I didn't say I did. I didn't say I didn't. I don't like that shit. Omission is a slippery ass motherfucking slope. That's not, but she's not lying. See you. 
<laughs> Biff, let's talk about your life. No, Biff. No, because <laughs> this is what this don't make sense to me. So you telling me if I meet this woman over the internet and I ask her and know everything we about her, we don't know her if it's the over sign, the internet. We just said that. Bruh, Biff, we just said there's no physical way you can have 20 boyfriends. Yeah, maybe Panqua can pull it off. Shit. <laughs> Might have had that snapper. I don't know. They don't give okay, enough then. details in this so story. So then that's, that's my question. So if she got 20 boyfriends, there's no way you can't not know about not one of them. Yeah, you would have to. Because her time. You have to know at least. Thank you. She would have zero time. I don't know, Biff. I think it's fucked up. It's a little fucked up, but then I can't blame her either. Because if a stranger's on the internet willing to send me a thousand dollars just for just cause, then you send me a thousand dollars. So Biff, if you would bar, uh, if if she would have borrowed money from you, from you, you think she would pay you back? She wouldn't have borrowed money from me because I already see what I know what type of bitch she is. That's that's no, that friend <laughs> that got all the sugar daddies. You don't need money from me. I will give you advice, but I'm not giving you money. <laughs> I didn't know what type of friend that is. I repeat that. I will encourage you. Girl, you got it. You keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? I back you. I love you. But I'm not giving you no money. She'll pay you back, Bill. <laughs> no, she can. But then no, again, she... why are you playing? She will pay me back because she'll just go scam another nigga and then give me the money. So, you know what? Matter of so fact, they... we go right on ahead. That's trash. <laughs> that is super trash. All right, y'all. That's all we got. You got anything else? I'm talking for both of us. Um, No, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so again, go back, listen to the beginning of this show for the freaking contest rules. We're going to put the contest rules in a group in a video. I'm calling you out. Tori was supposed to do it. Tori asked us. She was like, yeah, let's call. I'm going to call you. I said, I'm going to call y'all and talk about it. Okay. Gave him a time. Okay. Called her on three-way. Didn't answer. Well, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> she was gung-ho, too. I haven't set it up. I'm going to do it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Nothing. Dang. So... Anywho, thank you, thank you, thank you all again for participating. Um, I got some plans for the show. One of the things I'm looking at, and this is just for anyone. Well, first of all, let me say this. A lot of people that I'm having that are going to be guests and stuff like that, well, that we're having, rather, that are going to be guests. Um, a lot of people are thinking about starting their own podcast. So if y'all ever need podcast advice or want to know something, I'll tell you. Just hit me up. Um, one of the things we're looking to do and we're going to need some more support and stuff like that is looking to be able to play music so we can do some more transitional type things and some little creative things. So it costs money, but I need y'all to view so we can get this, uh, this thing here rolling. Cause it needs to be worth Hello? it. Hello. What? I agree with you, Biff. Oh, I thought you had something to say. I was waiting for no. it to come out. You guys, listen. Give us views. Give us money. And we give you better shows, better quality. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to set this is, up. This is how this shit works. I'm going to set it up. Okay, so we put money it. into it, but of y'all course we have family. Apples. We have lives. Don't we can't do it all. Money, so we appreciate it if you guys did it. I'm going to let people cash app us. I'm going to create a From My Experience podcast cash app so people can donate. Still. Or PayPal donations. We take those too. All right, y'all. We out. Y'all have a great week. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Tell your uh, money hungry friends who don't pay nobody back about themselves. Make don't sure, pick up the phone. Don't let your relate. Don't don't let your relationship depreciate. If you've been slipping and not appreciating when your girl cook for you and you get home and dinner's ready, or when he rubbing your feet, or when they running your bath water, or washing your car, or just scratching your head while you sit on the couch and lay up on them. Appreciate those little things and let them know you appreciate it. Yeah, we get comfortable as humans because we get it all the time. And maybe y'all should stop doing it so frequently, you know. Change it up a little bit. But appreciate the person you with because good people is hard as shit to find these days. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Stay black, stay proud, stay you, and stay down. And we'll see you next week. Peace. And I almost, Peace. Hit, I almost hit the end button on Skype by accident. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>